So for our end of term two project, so final assignment term two, we are going to be doing a portfolio and we're going to be doing a Java slash Alice portfolio. So the very first step, um, when I looked into this program that we're going to be using, I found that you actually have to use YouTube videos. Um, I did not figure out a way to embed a Google Drive video. So if you want to upload your videos to YouTube that you made, um, you can choose to make them unlisted. Um, you cannot make them private though, that won't work. So you can choose to make them unlisted. So that's the first thing you want to do. Um, you're going to be adding all your videos that you made uh, just to a programming page and then you're going to have a little short write-up um, could look very similar to this but you want to give the idea of what we learned in each unit and then you want to have an example and your evidence of um, how you learn that so we're going to be using a program called Weebly so the first step is to go to students.weebly.com and that is plural so students.weebly.com should look like this when you get there, students.weebly.com. I made your login just your typical first initial last name 18. So that would be your login. And I made your password um, uh, just your, your lunch code. Okay, so you can go ahead and use that. If you have any issues logging in, make sure you email me so I can fix that. Um, it's going to ask you to name your website. So I would name it uh, Your Name Portfolio. And uh, this will be your portfolio for this year. And once you get that started it's going to ask you um, when you go to publish it for a domain name so we want to make the domain name uh, your last first initial last name 18 BMSA so that's when you go to publish it so when you make a new site it's going to ask you to name it first so go ahead and name it your name portfolio that can have spaces it's when you go to publish it and this is the big publish button and you have to do this otherwise I will not be able to see your site it's going to ask you what you want to publish it as. So that's where you put your first initial last name, 18, um, and then you can link to it. And that would be the link you would turn in for me. So the first step after you make your site is you need to make a page. You can pick a theme. It will ask you to pick a theme. And you can always go back in and change that. But here's your pages. Just hit the plus button to make a page. We're just going to make it a standard page. And I would call it programming. The other option that I would do is I would make it not a tall header, but a short header, um, because this is the header up here, this part right here, and it's this big white space. Or you can also say no header, because you really don't, don't need that up there at all on your sub pages. Okay, so we're going to have headers, and then we're going to hit save. And then you need to choose a layout. So to choose a layout, you can click there. And you do not have to do this. You can totally build your own layout. But I thought this is a nice little start to kind of get you started. Um, this portfolio option is kind of neat. I like uh, this one would be pretty pretty easy to duplicate. Um, there's also some other interesting ones where it's a little bit, um, these would be kind of fun to do. You could have nine of those. And on the home page, you can see they have, this would work as well because you could just put your Alice up there. Once you choose your layout, um, the only way to delete that is to delete everything on your page and choose your layout again but you can totally modify it here under the build. So that's kind of a trick. You go from pages to make your pages. You go back to build to build it. Now you can see we've got slideshows and galleries. So if you want to do screenshots um, instead of video for some of your code, that would be a better way to explain it, you're thinking. You can do that as well, but just put a little slideshow or gallery in there. Um, and there's your images. So this could be Alice in general, and you could talk about how we're learning Java. Uh, this could be lesson one. Um, some of you guys combined your videos. That's okay. Just make sure you put that in there. I did Alice 1 and 2 together because, you know, that's how you did positioning. Um, try to use the vocabulary that we learned so you can show the programming that you learned. And then if you wanted to duplicate this, um, some things you want to do is kind of click on it. You can see what different items are called. This, is, I think, is a spacer graphic, but this is actually a divider. So if you wanted to add a little divider here, you just drag it over. There you go. So now I have a divider, so now I can start adding some more photos. So here's another. You would actually be using videos, so let me do that. Down here at the bottom is the YouTube video. This is by far the easiest way to do it. The files make you download the files. So notice I have just one YouTube video right now. So if I can put a divider in here, and for some reason it's easier to drag it to the left. I don't know why. All right, so, and I need three videos. Put another divider in there. And then um, you can drag some text over. And this can be resized as well just by dragging your arrows around. So again, I think you'll find it really um, intuitive to use and easy. Uh, realize if you want to add things to text, 
there's titles and text right here. So, um, and again, you want to use your dividers to help you yeah, keep things in, in columns and rows and things like that. And you can also experiment with copying. These are buttons. These will take you to other, place, other places. And again, you just click on it once. There's your text. And there's the link. The link can take you either to um, a whole another website. So when we get to our HTML stuff, we'll be using that. Or this will take you, standard page will take you to another page in your website. But I would prefer if you just did this all on one page, all your Java, Alice programming on one page. Um, and we're going to have one through nine on there. And again, I kind of gave you a little introduction. It's all in um, Ames. You're going to turn your link in via Ames. And I try to help you out. Send me emails if you have questions. Plan on fifth period Monday if you need help or Tuesday after school if you need help. And I've got this due uh, by midnight on Wednesday. Thanks.